What is up, guys? Welcome to a brand new series of Surviving the Aftermath. I'm Josh. This is Patch 12, I believe, Nuclear Winter. I previously had a series on this channel where I kind of played this game, but I want to hop back into it. They keep updating the game, and I have yet to check it out in a while. I'd like this to be roughly a 10-episode series, a Let's Play, of course, where we're going to go through all aspects of the game, see how good it is, see if it's worth buying, have some fun playing it, and kind of just enjoy the uh, enjoy the experience. I'm a huge fan of the tycoon and uh, city building game so i'm excited tycoon city building management simulation are pretty much my genres so i'm excited to be playing this again let's hop on into it i'm gonna hit a new game do you want to do the tutorial it's been a few months since i played so i'm just gonna say yes that's would you like to enable it i tutorial messages all right just messages not like an actual tutorial so here you go you kind of get to pick how you want the after world to be so if you have a different uh opinion on what the apocalypse will look like you kind of get some options here so cities are demolished but nature prevailed so maybe there was i don't know nuclear bombs and they only targeted cities but they didn't destroy the entire world now if they did nuclear just radiation everywhere imagine imagine fallout kind of you kind of got the entire world destroyed no fertile ground i think if we kind of go with a fallout perspective let's say Let's say there was a nuclear bomb and it's all kind of settled down now. All right. So we got some good cities. Catastrophes in the wake of the events results, extreme weather conditions and other climates become a normal part of every day. So <clears throat> this has an impact on how often you actually need to use and how the catastrophes impact you. It's still a dangerous world. I don't want to make this too easy and your difficulty increases as you pick each. So we won't make it too easy here. I'll advise everyone scourged together what they could. People left with barely anything. We'll say the second one. Uh, some had prepared well for the upcoming apocalypse, stockpiling resources for the aftermath. Others scavenged what they could. I think I think that's probably fair. How many people actually prepare for an apocalypse? I'm not sure, man. There's no survival guide for post-apocalyptic like this. Different people. The hardiest survivors. Col Colony Builder, Wasteland Explorer, additional tech options for exploration with other advancements, additional tech options to improve the colony efficiency, additional tech options for more efficient survival methods. They both? They both seem good. I don't know. I think we're probably going to focus on colonies. If I was to be in a post-apocalyptic world where would i want to be and i think that's colonies path of challenging but worth the risk life is unfair but sometimes it feels like you are not alone whether it is okay it's a tough road but never un unfair suffering or success mm. path is challenging but worth the risk all right specialists so we gotta pick three here so each one has their own little thing there with their own little uh, saying. What the? What the? What is going on with some of these guys, man? I'm just hovering over everything real quick to see what the differences are. It looks like a lot of them are just scavenging and like research. And I think research is really important if I remember correctly. I think my last series was like six episodes and I kind of completed everything. I was just pretty much expanding at that point. I wanted to experience all the things that they had available. Um, we'll do, uh, this guy's a good scavenger, so we'll grab him. We'll also grab a good researcher, I think. It's probably the, probably the route to go. This guy looks like he's good at researching. And then we should probably grab someone who's good at fighting. So we got th four options, because I'm looking at damage here. We got this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. This gal. I don't have any gals. I'll pick the gal. Maqueta. Maqueta. I'm in. You're in. You made the cut. Visuals. So now you got to pick a flag here. It's not super important, obviously. I'm always a red and black type of guy. Eh, maybe we'll go blue, actually. I don't know. I wish it was just a black flag or a white flag. There you go. Let's continue. Colony name. We'll call it just bring the party good enough uh colony motto i 
a nice New Hampshire model. I'm from Rhode Island and I just love New Hampshire's model motto. Their actual motto for their state is live free or die. Look it up. It's pretty cool. It's pretty badass. <laughs> state motto. Um, yeah, it's fine. It's pretty, it's a pretty cool motto. I wish my state had that cool of motto. Being from Rhode Island, our motto is actually the shortest motto. It's just hope. I'm like, ah, live free or die. Like, please give me that one. <laughs> Right now it's, uh, not that this is relevant, but it's like Saturday uh, noon. I have my coffee here. It's going to be a great day. I plan on recording a lot of this today so I can kind of experience all the aspects of the game and have some fun playing it. I want to start getting up this content ASAP. I just wrapped up a RAF series and I'm wrapping up a, um, well, the RAF series is wrapping up, which is the important thing. And then we're going to be wrapping up some other series in the near future, I think. All right, let's see what we can do here. So first things first, we got to build a campsite. That's obvious. We already have materials with us. I don't know. I So campsites, what's important here? We got to scavenge this area. But let's build a campsite. It depends on which way we face. If I recall correctly, this will end up being a gate. So it'll be like an entry and exit. Back here, people really don't come from back in these areas. They only come from the front. So we'll go here-ish. Which is near the front. And then we'll be near resources as well. Only thing I want to do is the game feels just a hair quiet for me. So let me just turn that up real quick. That might be a hair better. All right. And now the people will automatically start fixing that. So we'll let that start getting repaired. Has a couple resources there. Can't touch this. This is radioactive. What we could do, I believe it's like kind of a highlight system. And then we just assign people to do stuff. So highlight and like right click. And with that, they'll start collecting stuff and scavenging and collecting all, uh, all the items we need. It's been a little bit since I've played, but we should probably start building out the basic resources, places to sleep, um, pollution deposits, kind of teaching about the game. We need to build places to sleep, places to eat, and then like some form of water collecting. So I think what we should do first is a water collector. I believe we have these resources there at the tip top there. And it doesn't look like we'll even struggle to build one of these. I think if you build it like over here, for example, the water's polluted. So you won't get that much water. So you want to build in open areas. Right there is fine. It doesn't matter where you build it, really. I'm just going to click on any one of them to help me build that. Let's get them to start collecting the next item here. We got to make sure we're collecting everything. I think that's auto build. Is that auto build? Status. Waiting for resources. Nope. Okay. I got to move someone to us. I got to sign someone to build that. Here you go. Build that, buddy. And we can speed up time here. And here he goes. He's going to start building that. Sick. We depleted... That deposit's depleted, so one of our people are currently not doing anything to you. So we're just going to assign you to the next thing. And we're going to keep clearing out all the resources we have in our immediate area. After that, I'd like to start branching out. First things first, get water running. And we have a nice amount of food. It tells you how much you consume there and stuff. <laughs> not a huge deal. Got it. We're going to hit right-click, dismiss that. Basic controls. I'm not using a remote, by the way. I'm not sure why it told me remote controls, but... We have water. Great. Next is next thing's next. We need... Actually, maybe this will be helpful. Great job on the steps. Okay. Uh, notice now you have new buildings. All right. The area needs to be prepared by the colonists being prepared. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. So next thing's next. We should probably build some form of lumber or scrapper. Medical is not that important yet, but I think lumber is very important. It's been a minute since I've played, but I believe lumber is very important. So we will build that like over here. And I'm sure he'll finish building that. And we're still collecting these items, so we'll keep doing that. Sick. Speed up time again. Let some time pass. There's a few separate options, by the way. Different radio stations. Um, your settings. Then there's all this, which kind of gives you your overview. You have your colonist overview if you get new colonists, which we will. Uh, resources, buildings that we're currently working on. 
a couple graphs if we ever need to know like, oh, look, we lost people this day or do we have enough food? Or are we consuming too much clothing? You don't want people to get cold, that type of stuff. And if I mess anything up, feel free to let me, feel free to leave a message in the description and the comments down below. And also make sure to like the video. Two great ways to support the content and help me continue doing what I love to do. Uh, the algorithm's weird and likes really help. So make sure to like and stuff. We'll keep speeding up time till we deplete some more stuff and build this and. Your specialist. Specialists are your forefront and getting a uh, left mouse button on a controller. Okay. Uh, specialist menu. I don't even know what the specialist menu is, to be honest with you. People are waiting for you. Nice. Okay. You can invite colonists in by firing a flare from the campsite when you're ready. We're going to invite some colonists in. We got to start moving, man. I need more people. Three people won't work. And we'll have to start building beds and stuff. Exploring your surroundings. The surroundings is filled with items. Yeah, we already started doing that, so disregard that. Abnance. So, uh, single flare group arrives. That's despite all the hardships ahead, it's time to rebuild and turn into a happy place. Nice. How many people is that? Why do we have so. What? I thought I was going to get like two or three. You just invited an entire. Ooh. Um, hello? How many does this hold? It only holds two. All right, we're going to need to build two of these. Uh, huh. Is that good? Will that do it? Uh, do we have these resources? Yeah, resources doesn't seem like an issue. That just seems like a lot of people at once, but I guess. One. We have to do two, though, because we have too many people now. But at least they can work for me. No? So, highlight a couple. Oh, go build. Maybe they auto work? I can't recall. Yeah, okay, they'll start auto building. Good. I'm sorry, I think the game might be too loud now. This is such a hassle trying to figure out the right game noise. Eight cons are homeless. Build more shelters. Yeah, we're building shelters. Lila, what's up, girl? You guys, what are you guys doing? Yeah, everyone's just building now. Sick. Build a water source. That's what we're working on. Wells completed, so now we're evened out. But I'd like to go a little over on well water. So I think the next thing would be to... Clean water storage. Storage for drinking water. It holds more water. How much water storage do we have right now? 300. All right, we're going to start hitting max on that. So I think this is useful. And we'll just put it next to our well. And I'd like to make one more well, because I think this is necessary. I just got to choose the place that I like. This has a nice amount, and it doesn't interfere too much with the other well water. Bring over to the right a little bit. There you go. And then we should get a... Well, isn't this a logging place? Lumberyard? Yeah, okay. Let's speed up time again. There's six homeless people. Once we finish that, there'll be no homeless, which will be nice. Are you not doing anything? Idling. All right, we got time to do something. We don't let people idle. Idling is just not an acceptable thing. Adjust workers in the worker slot. Are you idling? Now we can assign people to do specific tasks like woodworking like construction i believe passively everyone's a construction worker so that'll at least be useful for the time being till we why are you idling still uh you can decrease the building productivity try adding workers to the worker slots So we just want to make sure they're clearing out like a good area. And that's good. And now if someone's working on it. I think we can assign additional people to it. I just oh. don't know. Ah. Ah. It's like no one's doing crap. They're all on break. Losers. 
I think that can only hold one person. I think that's the issue. That can only have a one person working on it. Unfortunately, we would love to have more people, of course. We want to have unlimited people working on everything, but we are restricted to some extent. Jeez. Um, I guess next thing would be to build a... I would just need one over the other. We build a recycler. Ah, there's recycling over there. So this entire area is pretty safe, so it doesn't really matter where we put this stuff. We just want to have it organized so we know. Uh, building with specialists. Okay, we need a stockpile is what it's saying. I'm trying to find a stockpile here. Medical. I think we also need medical. People get naturally sick in this game. Like, people just slowly kind of die. It's kind of weird. I don't like the mechanic very much, but it is what it is. Just everyone's health slowly decreases no matter what you're doing. Yeah, priority. So anyone that's not working will prioritize building that. Still idling? We are stockpiling a lot of resources, which will be nice in the long run. Good. Good, good, good. Next thing's next. I want to try and clear out this area. Once we finish building this, we can do that. Just keep going to the next area, guys. And then the recycler can help with clearing out the plastics there and building another well. That'll be good. And we have to work on that gate. After all that, we can start traveling. Oh, the map looks different. Map looks different than I recall. Unless if I was just zoomed out more. Can't remember. Looks different to me, but I could be wrong. Are you running low on food? It looks like we're still good on food. Uh, food production, trappers, and fishing hut. Okay. Another deposit depleted, but for now, let's go get a fishing hut real quick. Is there water out here? Where the heck is there water? Is that water? I think that is, right? I don't think it matters where you put it. Or does it? Maybe it does. I don't figure out where to put this, but it doesn't want to behave. Let's try the other thing. Let's try a trapper hut instead, I guess for the time being, till I um And now we're running low on plastics. Plastics and metals. Uh, recyclers. Scrap plastics, metals, and produce fibers. Got it. And we're trying to finish this. We, have the re we still have the resources, so they just need to finish building it. That's fine. We should do something. Please don't ever idle. That's going to be the death of us. Materials to make this trapper. I know. What are we missing? Plastics? Hmm. Where to get plastics? So, yep, just assign anyone to it and then move the work area and we're going to go move it over here. So you just clear out that area. And that should give us enough plastics to kind of keep the uh, keep the colony going. Another deposit depleted. Not you, right? No. One of you guys? Yeah, your deposit depleted. We're going to clear out everything in the area. That's going to be our first thing. Then after that, we'll start worrying about the other stuff. I know. We are actually doing pretty good. I'd like to expand on a couple of these areas. But for now, that's probably good. And this will turn some supplies into fiber. Call on this hygiene. Hygiene. An outhouse. Let's build up... 
They want an outhouse? They can have it. I don't care. There you go. Um, I think we should build it. Causes pollution, so we should build it away from everything. I don't have the resources, but I think it's necessary. So now let's figure out how we get those resources. All right, guys, let's wrap this episode up. This is the intro into this series. I hope you guys really enjoyed the intro. It really means a lot that you guys are watching. We're going to make more stuff as the game goes on. And, of course, keep expanding on our area. I really appreciate viewership and support. If you guys enjoyed the content, please consider looking down below and hitting that spicy subscribe button. Great way to support me. Great way to support the content. I have more material up tomorrow-ish. Tomorrow, I think. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys all later. See you guys.